and welcome to BOTB HQ uh, in uh, Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Rupert Gardner, Commercial Director. We are here, it's Bank Holiday Monday, to uh, judge last week's competition, week 21, which ran from the 21st to the 27th of May. Before we just do that, I'd like to just say once again many congratulations both to um, Amanda Lewis, who won, I think, our first ever BMW i8, um, plus £20,000. She got the news when she was on holiday. Um, and also to uh, Dario Di Natale, who um, scooped £10,000 uh, in, in straight cash in our lifestyle competition. But anyway, without further ado, I'd like to pass it over now to Mark Romer to oversee proceedings today. Hi there, my name is Mark Romer from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. Uh, now I'd like to introduce today's judges to ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. Uh, first, introduce Matt Cannon. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer. Orange. Uh, Trevor Weaver. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing for 30 years and I also mean it all. Red. Uh, Andy Braithwaite. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, my name is Andy Braithwaite and I'm a football referee and mentor. Yellow. Gareth Denny. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, my name is Gareth Denny, I'm a senior county referee and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. White. Uh, Leo Donnan. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. My name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Oil. Perfect. And Hugh Gilroy. Morning. Hi, my name is Hugh Gilroy. I'm a football referee, mentor, tutor and observer. Thank you. Green. And last but not least, uh, Ari Mundock here. Morning, Mark. Good morning. My name is Ari Vindok. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, firstly as a player and then as a referee. Blue. Okay, judges, please could you uh, mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to come to a panel decision on the centre of the screen. position of your cross for us please. Yes, uh, mine's the red cross. Um, obviously player number six here is going to head or trying to head that ball. I think by the shape of his head um, he may have over overcooked it. He may it may be missing him but just going by his eyes, shape of his head and then taking into consideration this player's eyes to somehow Give me some indication of the actual height, um, but mainly, obviously, concentrate on this player. I would say the centre of the ball would be there. Okay, same again, please, Harry. Yes, my my cross is the blue one. Um, I felt that the player in, in dark dark kit is uh, stretching himself to get to this ball. Uh, I think he's going to be a miss. Um, he's looking at the ball. Uh, um, play these. This person in yellow, I think, is looking at the direction of the ball, which I believe it's this one as well. Um, I put slightly lower because his eyes, I think, I can. is on this direction. Uh, but I think it, the ball is going to pass just, just in front of, over, 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 over his head anyway. And say again, please, Hugh. Yep, so two players in shot. Uh, look to the player in dark green. Um, Mine's a light green cross here. I think he actually might have just played it. Um, so I think he's on it, on his way down. Um, but I think he's looking up at that sort of angle. Haven't taken a lot from the player in yellow. I think he's just generally on looking. Um, that's why I placed my cross there. Okay, Andy, uh, same again, please. Thanks, Mark. I'm the yellow cross. Um, this guy, I believe in the green, uh, I believe the ball's coming down to him. Uh, he's positioning himself, arms out, etc., ready to head the ball or whether he's going to flick it on or head it, head it back forwards. 
Um, the guy in yellow, um, I've taken a slight bit of notice uh, from his position. Obviously, you can't see his eyes, uh, but I believe by the, 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 the uh, ripples in his neck, he's craning up a little bit. He's just looking at the guy about to play it. That's why I've placed my yellow cross there. Great. Yeah, mine's the orange cross in the middle of uh, most of us. Um, I think the, the, the six is going to win the ball. I think he's, but he's not going to meet it with a, with a big header. I think he's either going to flick it on this way or maybe have a cushion header. He might be heading it back to this keeper or flicking it off the top of the forward. This guy's just looking in the general direction. Uh, and I've cross-referenced uh, those two and put orange cross there. Great. And uh, Gareth, if you could justify your position uh, for your cross, please. <coughs> Certainly. The player in the, in the green, uh, looking at the ball, concentrating on it. Body sort of twisted over at an angle. His head's twisted to his left. So I think the ball's pretty much above, uh, uh, above him, which is where I've taken the line through the white cross there. This guy's on looking, um, looking at the ball, but we and he sees his head's up. Uh, we can't see his eyes at all, so you know, it's, a, it's a guess from there. But uh, I think the, just the way he's holding his body and the way he's twisted, uh, I think he's about to head the ball, which is why I put my cross there. Yeah. Okay, judges, please could you come to a panel decision on the central screen? Uh, let's see if there's any information from his eye. Mm -hmm. no. The grief behind you can't really see anything in his eye, can you? Not no, that. It's just a no, similar just, angle, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. an angle. So if we take an angle from his eye, then which, which way through the, which branch will go through? Uh, you can kind of yeah. dissect between the eye yeah. and the like bar in the back end. Yeah, it's just go straight. Straight? Yeah, that's good. Keep going like that. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. How's that look, fellas? That looks good. Oh, that so, just look at Andy's yeah. cross. It's, we're going to lie through Andy's cross with the here. So that's good Andy's cross. Yes, I think it stays in between of everyone. So, I think is that which branch is that? might need to come through this light bit. Yeah, I would have seen that yeah. bit at the top. Right, so take that out. Yes. Yeah. That just put this light So, you want to that's go through, through this, that light patch at the back? This yeah. thing here. Yeah. Just move it so I can see where it is. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, you want to go through this. That's it. Yeah, like that. How's that look? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, better. Yeah. Right. Unless your head looks a good angle, because the shape of his head and everything, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's just height mm -hmm. distance. No, no, we just want to, to get the average, it would be, what do you say, above the orange? Yeah, yeah so then that's still or about three below. It would be, yes, right, yeah, it would be there. Try a straight line, yeah, that's it. So it's above the white. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's have a look. Yes. It looks good. Yeah, that looks good. It's a good height. So that's just above uh, Matt's orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it should well, be a little higher on that one, just looking at the averages. It's just yeah. I'll, put another, I'll put another one in, see what we think. Because we're all clustered around that oh, line. Around that, yeah. Okay. If I, even if you go higher, that would be... All on that one first, we'll okay. do the low one first. That's that one. That's good. I think that's good. Alright. Yes, I, I can go, go back to it, but I will just move the cross up now to let the red one see what you think. That's too high for me, for the average. That's almost in line with Yeah, I would go for the other one. Line and Gareth. Yours, the previous one. But that's not okay. Average. Let's take it back to the orange one. Right. Just the try, try to put the ball in, in there. Just to I'll take all the lines out. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that looks. Yeah. That's pretty. Should go straight, straight up. That's big. Very much. Which you might want to come right yeah. at. I've only got two on the right. Yeah, I wouldn't go.
If he goes to the end of his, let's take the bottom of his jaw. If he goes, if he goes straight through his beard, that dissects us right on the tip. So tip of his beard's high up. Straight up. Just so I think you just need to go little, right yeah, attached. Just a little, little touch. Yeah. So, yeah. well, but if you go right, there's four people to the left of there. That's what I was saying. If there's three people to the right, you should, go, if anything, go a bit to the left. Yeah. yeah. I, I think That's where we are is, is, is a good compromise, but certainly not going right. Mm. I don't think you can go right. Because mm. so mm. there's, a, there's, a there's four to the left of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're doing right and left. We've got to go through his nose this time. You say that. See what you think. Yeah. We should have to get the ball right on over the top of it. Send it up. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That works for me. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. Happy. Yep. Yeah. 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 <coughs> okay. The coordinates chosen are x coordinate one six six one, and that's y coordinate seven two five. X coordinate 1661, Y coordinate 725. Uh, once again, that's 1661, Y coordinate 725. Uh, these uh, coordinates will now be passed to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy to turn the, uh, the winner of the competition and they'll inform best of the best. That concludes today's judging this morning. Thanks all very much. Thank you.